Yo, Perfume Sucks is the name of the brand. There's a dope brand that I've smelled a couple years back called Perfume Sucks, which is one of the illest names when you have a perfume brand. There was a jewelry brand that used to do a lot of marketing in the New York area on Z100. I think it's I Hate Steven something or I Hate something. It was a jeweler who bought the website name of I Hate whatever jewelry brand, which I thought was marketing genius. For you to make a perfume and name the entire brand Perfume Sucks, you're winning. But does this perfume line suck? They sent over three different fragrances and a bunch of push pop variations, which we're gonna be smelling together because they started moving shit around. I've lost pieces. I don't even know what's what, but let's see if they truly do suck. Let's roll my music so we can check out some of the lineup from Perfume Sucks. <laughs> Blessing one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Perfume sucks. Now I got three different fragrances. I hope the names are on the bottom because I don't even know where I put half of the boxes. Damn it. So one of them is called Flash 0021. The other one is called Yellow 130C and Fuel 0987. These are the weirdest effing names that I've encountered. But again, is it going to suck is the question. Presentation wise, very funky, completely different. They have the entire molecular breakdown and no here, which is really fly. It's just a completely different setup. And some of these have these Illuminati-esque eyes, a little reflective kind of thing. Both of the fragrances that I have here have that same kind of look and, and scarcity. And we do like unique presentations, but do they suck is the question. Let's start off with Yellow 130C. And it does have notes in here of Gayak, Divana, Fir Balsam, Nutmeg Oil, Cumin, Cipriol, Cinnamon. Man, it's just got a little bit of everything up in here, so it better not suck. Let's see what's up with this. So the yellow 130C, you definitely pick up the thyme, a little bit of the cumin, kind of oregano oil-ish, but there is a bright citrus vetiver action through this joint that I find to be very, actually inviting. The cumin here has a little bit of a BO factor there, which might throw some people off, but for the most part, it's got brightness, it's got citrus, it's got slight sour, there's a vetiver punch in here. That is quite versatile, to be honest with you. So that yellow 130C so far does not suck. Has some body, has depth, has something to really layer on the skin to give you some sort of a performance attribute, but that one does not suck. Let's go to these Illuminati joints. Hopefully I spray three or four sprays of this joint and I'll be inducted in and I have like a lifelong fruit full of 48 virgins or whatever the case may be. So this one is Fuel 0987 one. Ooh. Bold. It does have a little bit of a petroleum kind of smell. There's definite oud in here. There's a little bit of a taint smell. Kind of like the space between balls and asshole. It's a crotch party right up oh, in here. Why it. don't you lick on this big jaw? Stop it! Feels like I was scratching the taint while sitting on grandma's plastic couch. Love the couch, the plastic. <laughs> Let me see what kind of notes are listed on here. It's hard to see. Hideon. What the hell is this so fucking dark. Cystis, Ambroxan, alcohol, water, suede. This one is very winter centric. There's also an underlying cocoa kind of smell. Some strength here. That butthole smell has reduced a bit. It definitely has body. It's completely unique. Both of these fragrances are unique, so they're mirror. it mirrors nothing that I have in the collection. That's actually not bad. It's getting a lot better. That butthole smell has reduced a bit. Definitely fall and winter only. There's a subliminal cacao smell in here. That's actually pretty masculine and deep and rich and shit. It smells like a bunch of Russians ready to wrestle. And finally, we're gonna jump into Flash 021, I believe. Bro, I'm losing my vision. Oh, old man vibes is kicking in. Flash 020, what? 0021, Flash 0021. Whoa, gingerbread cookie. No, like a star anise cookie with ginger. Oh, cinnamon. This smells like the start of a very dense tea. You're boiling water, you're taking allspice, star anise, cinnamon, nutmeg, putting it in that pot, letting it reduce down so that water consistency becomes very dense. You get that cookie vibe. There's a yeasty cookie dough, ultra different, but star anise seems to be the start in here. Let me see if I can read some of these damn notes. Rosewood, heliotrope, pepper, amber, I mean, it would be a lot easier if I just looked it up, right? All right, so it's Szechuan peppercorn, popcorn, truffle, Brazilian rosewood, heliotrope, rhubarb, sandalwood, amber, and musk. So different. Now that I said rhubarb, I get it. I get the popcorn, too. That's, that's very accurate interpretation. Pepper, popcorn, 
rhubarb, but I also get star anise heavy, allspice seasoning, and like this tea confectionery liquid. I must say that none of these suck. They are so unique, very different, ultra niche and if I were going to pick one of these to start off with, I think this 0021 really caught my attention. Let me smell the yellow 130C. No, 0021 would be my first option, followed by the yellow 130C, and finally would be the Fuel 0987 would be the tertiary ones. These are very good, very niche underground sleepers. They do not suck, they don't smell of subpar quality. It looks like they have some very, like, you know, eco-friendly packaging. It's like a push pop, so it has a little wooden piece in the bottom, you just push through, and it pushes the fragrance up. You know what I'm saying? Are you aware of the number of hand jobs I'm gonna have to give? Which one of these fragrances have you guys tried from the brand Perfume Sucks? This is very dope. I remember smelling a sample pack way back. I think Joe sent me a sample pack many years ago, but clearly they haven't fallen off and they're still keeping that strong, unique vibe. So well done, thank you Perfume Sucks. I'll put a link in the description to their website. They did send these over for me to check out. They didn't ask for a review or anything, which is amazing, but I wanna test some new shit out and put y'all guys on. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game, smooch. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>